Halloween and it's turning into a real family tradition for us and it's kind of um, evolved I guess so last year Donna and Roro so my sister and her husband uh, were moving house at Halloween now they're Americans so usually they go all out and they said hey why don't you guys have our decorations and we said yeah sure why not we'll put them up they came over with like three enormous tubs and we put up all the decorations and it was just crazy. It was so much fun and we had so much feedback. So we thought, okay, let's make it bigger and even better this year. And we are super excited. Only five more sleeps till Halloween. So we have been to the shops. We are getting organized. We are getting set. We are absolutely so excited we just love halloween so sasha has fallen asleep in the car on the way back from the shop so we've left him there to have a bit of rest from the shop, from the shop. and daddy and Everly are knee deep in halloween decorations check this out okay this is halloween decorating central they are getting their craft on Everly corners could you please Tell me, what are you doing? I'm painting the glass. And why are you painting the glass jar? Because cause it's going to be a ghost. A ghost? What are you going to put inside? Candies. Pardon? Um, little candles and candies. Candles? Yeah. To light it up? Or candies, they'll think. Well, not candies, because they won't look very nice lit up. They'll probably explode, in fact. But anyway, you're doing a ghost. So you're painting it white and then you're going to draw on a nice black ooh, ghosty face. I'm going to do like a, um, like a happy ghost. A happy ghost? A happy ghost. And what's Dad got going on here? Something. Let's have a look. Oh, how cute is that? Little Mr. Pumpkin. Oh, Mr. Pumpkin. Mr. Pumpkin jar. Mr. Pumpkin. Uh, right. And what are you working on here with the green, Dad? I was going to paint the lid, but Dad oh. needs brush to do that. All right, so we're getting more stock and stores. So we have all these awesome paints that we've got and from. And I've got this highlighter pen. Everly got a highlighter pen that was not on the shopping list, but somehow she managed to get that snuck into the trolley. Anyway, we are having so much fun doing all this decorating and getting ready. We've got stacks of paper. We're going to make some lanterns and all sorts of okay, things. So I think it's all done. We'll hop to it. We'll keep painting. We'll show you some more as we go. Uh, and can I do the lid, Daddy? Yeah. Where's your lid? Down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. We are in full Halloween mode. It is three sleeps away. We are outside. Donna and Roro have popped over. They are helping us. There is so much to be done. And the kids are having a blast. It's a beautiful night as well. So we are having fun putting it all together. Let me show you. A creepy spider. So we have cobwebs. The kids are having fun. They've set up their chairs. We have tombstones. And we have one. We have a big creepy guy. And we have one. What, what is that? A one. A glow in the dark yeah, one. Yeah, I'm wow. sure that, um, hold Dad's ladder, hold on, it's out of the way. So we are getting there, guys. Okay, so this is quite literally the calm before the storm. I've just had a little bit of quiet time to try and get a few more things organised and then I'll be off to pick up the kids and they'll be hot and bothered after a long day at school and childcare so and then Donna and Roro are coming over dad's coming home early from work everyone's going to be getting ready and getting their costumes on so it's going to turn a little bit frantic so I'm just prepping as best as I can we still have a lot to do let me show you so there's still kind of stuff everywhere we've got a cauldron we've got some little jack-o-lantern baskets to hang up and a few other things so there's kind of things spread out everywhere and on my bed, you can barely even see the bed. 
So this is our louche. It's pretty enormous. It's full of all sorts of things though. So not just candy and chocolate and all sorts of... What we have in here are cookies. We have little stickers which I'll empty in there. We have glow bracelets. We have fingernails. and So we've tried to mess, mix it up a little bit. So we've got a few costumes happening. So we're getting organized. The most unfortunate thing about today is that it's really hot and windy. Most of our decorations have gone flying. I'm going to show you. if you can see how not sure if you're able to tell by that but it is really hot it's 31 here today which is 87 Fahrenheit so it's a really hot day and these poor kids are going to be out trick-or-treating with these big costumes on and thick makeup and I really feel for them so we'll have some refreshments to hopefully be able to recharge them so they can keep going and nobody passes out in the heat and the wind is just of course disastrous because it's blowing the decorations everywhere but we will soldier on we'll make the best of it and we are going to have such a fa fantastic night anyway i better get going and pick up these little cherubs and let's get organized for halloween 2019 woohoo halloween fun Gene Simmons from the Rock Group Kiss. I'm a big music fan and there is definitely a horror theme associated with this band. Well, Halloween 2019 has been fantastic. It was lots of hard work, but wow, it was really worth it. So rewarding. We met so many fantastic kids and mums and dads, and we just had an absolute blast getting dressed up. Our kids had so much fun going trick or treating. Rich made the news and we, um, are so overwhelmed. The one uh, thing that people continually said to us was how much it really brought the community together and we couldn't agree more. It really did. It was just so inclusive and engaging for everyone. It was a lot of fun so we are glad that it's done now because it's a huge undertaking but we're also really excited because it falls on a Saturday next year so We've got a bit more time to prepare and be organized and we hope the weather gods are kinder because it was so hot this year we anticipate we had about three or four hundred people stop by so it was really a big big day so thank you to everyone in the community who stopped by and we can't wait to see you again for halloween in 2020 take care